another abandoned video. Today we're inside this really cool, classic looking American diner. I mean, the red, the chrome, the white, everything in this place screams out like 1940s, 1950s. This place really doesn't have a crazy history. I know it used to be a Denny's. That business failed and somebody bought the property, a independent uh, family, and they made it this place and they made it pretty damn awesome. The thing is, this place had unbelievably terrible reviews. If you go on reviews online, you could see one star after one star, just overpriced food, uh, quality not being well, so the place ended up shutting down and it honestly looks like they literally left everything because there's syrup in the, in the maple syrup containers, there's menus all over the place, there's still coffee mugs on tables, everything's left behind. So we're gonna be exploring this place. If you enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up and let's check it out. So I'm not sure if it was like mold issue, a structural issue, or the place just plain went bankrupt, but they really did leave everything left behind. I mean, none of this stuff is really set up by people. It's just like the last shift happened, everybody walked away and nobody cleaned up. Got an old jukebox left behind. Let's see if we recognize any music. Uh, I personally don't. Let's see if we can change it. No. Oh wow. Just got CD covers. There you go. Perfect song for a diner, considering the cover art is a diner. Man, I wish, I so wish that we could play the music in here right now. Oh, if we were able to play the music in here right now, it would add such, such a vibe to this yeah. place. Beach Boys. Echoing through here. I know, right? A quiet diner is, is weird. <laughs> Got the Grammy nominees. Got all different bands from 2006. Green Day, Mariah Carey, Coldplay, Foo Fighters, Neil Young, John Legend, Bruce Springsteen, all the classics. Got the top rock and roll hits. Ooh, got Prince. 1973 top rock and roll hits. Still have kids' drawings left behind. Sippy cups. These crayons are really faded. Got a painting of the Nathans in Coney Island. It's a pretty uh, notorious spot right there. 
along with the red seats and the white making everything pop in here. You also have the tin ceilings, which are pretty impressive. You know, they don't make any ceilings like that anymore. Everything, everything that looks like that's all really old. Just so wild. It feels so post-apocalyptic right now in here. Like everything was just, everything's left. Got all sorts of selections here at the diner. You guys let me know what your go-to drink is. Nobody's even unwrapped this. Like, this table was just sitting here and the place went abandoned. Like, they didn't even clean up before they left. Got coffee spill right where the cup fell. Just wild to me. I really like these light fixtures. If the food was actually good here, according to the reviews, they would have done a really good job. Because, I mean, who wouldn't want to come here? This is a pretty cool place to eat. Just sitting at the bar. <laughs> Chair's like already broken. So got debit cards left behind. What the heck? That's weird. A Jurassic World. I guess that's when the place went abandoned because I honestly wasn't sure when this place went vacant. Let's see if there's any goodies left behind back here. I got some old clocks. It's pretty cool. Even have the old phone just sitting right here. You got all the forks and knives just sitting here, just waiting for people to come in, sit at tables. So crazy. So this is where they were working. The stove has definitely seen better days. Pretty nasty. Really nasty. Oh God. All that crud just sitting there. Oh wow, and the fryers even still have grease in them. That's disgusting.
Oh, awesome. Here's a calendar. This will tell us exactly when this place closed. 2018. Check the ice machine. Nothing. Here's a storage room. Not much left. Got some Christmas decorations. Obviously for the holidays. Oh, look at that. So this place was a Denny's, and even down here we have an old Denny's book left behind. It's weird that they would keep it even past um, the new ownership and whatnot, but maybe it was like a legality thing. These Halloween decorations are cool. He's an alien. I love Halloween. Definitely my favorite holiday. Oh God, this hand is weird and floppy. So there is a ton of mold back here. I'm slowly learning. And um, that's probably one reason for closure along with the terrible food quality. But we're continuing our exploration and I'm walking into probably the owner's office right now. You still have a ton of stuff left behind. I mean, somebody took the monitor for the computer, but the actual computer is still here. There you go. Denny's Module 2, 2010 promotion. So even though we didn't know much history going into this place, besides it being a Denny's, we're slowly learning what actually happened here. So it looks like Denny's 2010, it was operational back then. So sometime afterwards it was bought out. And it didn't last long, only about eight years. So pretty interesting. Let's keep looking around. Got a safe in here and somebody tried getting in and they took out the uh, the combination part. Here's a temperature gauge. Let's see how hot it is in here. 77, not bad. Pretty pretty cool. Let's see what my temperature is. 90. It's pretty cold actually. I don't know if I should be concerned or not. Hmm, still got some things left behind. Nothing too crazy. Ibuprofen. Moments like this, I really do feel like I'm in like an apocalyptic movie, like looking for supplies. Like this would be the jackpot. You have hand sanitizer, gel, wound closure. I mean, this is basically an infirmary. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool if you're looking at it in that sense. Otherwise, this is just garbage to the normal person. <laughs> oh, that scared me. I didn't expect that to work. I keep finding more and more things just to link 
I guess the story of this place together. I found this notice on the wall and it says important information about your drinking water chemical or radiological maximum containment level reached. So apparently in 2018 the drinking water standard was below standard here and they basically had to close. Pretty wild. Just sitting here on the wall. The story is starting to put its puzzle pieces together I suppose. So this one has soap already dripping down there. So I'm gonna assume and say, ooh, that one works. Damn it. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this small little roadside find. This place was pretty cool. A lot of 1940s vibes, 1950s vibes, um, all within, I guess, American nostalgia. So that's why this place was open. It's kind of just unfortunate that their food couldn't match the atmosphere, but nonetheless, this place was cool. I'm gonna be taking some pictures here, and hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a thumbs up. It lets me know right away. It also helps me defeat the YouTube algorithm that is so painful to sit through. So anyway, peace out, y'all. See you in the next vid.